Good morning, GP, and uh, fellow gamers out there watching on both Twitch and later on on YouTube. How is everyone doing today? RC Styles here, hosting you on Hot Wheels Unleashed. Today we're going to be taking a break from Final Fantasy Stranger of Paradise. We're going to be taking a look at uh, Hot Wheels. As well as the launch, official launch from us on LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. That'll be our main feature throughout the day. Right now we're just basically waiting for that to finish downloading and then we will get cranking on that. It's cool. Uh, Street Fighter Vega car is not part of the pack, but we do have that car. I do want to try to uh, take it over for a spin. Uh, but what do we have for us? Okay, let's take a look. Uh, the skater customization pack, again, not part of the DC pack, but something else that we've gotten. And another expansion. No, that's the original one we were working on before. Okay, that's good. Come on. There it is. <clears throat> this was the original Hot Wheels DC Super Villains racing season that we had started with. So that's where I was getting confused. And then we didn't really do too much with this last season. I wasn't really feeling the whole SpongeBob vibe. But you throw DC in front of me, man, and look at me go. I do not care what it is. I'm playing it. I'm looking at it. So, for Hot Wheels DC Superheroes Racing Season, we have <clears throat> access to exclusive DC Superheroes Racing Season rewards, including 6 vehicles, 14 customization items for your basement, 3 items for your Unleashed Profile, Profile Icon, Tag, Background, and for more details, you will visit the Racing Season in-game page. And yes, we will be visiting that particular page. First, let's jump on over to our collection real quick. And I don't know if I already added it. Uh, no. I guess the Vega did at first glance look like a little bit like the Twin Mill. Yeah, I think that was one of the newer cars I had also gotten right here as well. Okay, well... I'm not sure what the fuck's going on here. Anyway, <clears throat> we have Nightwing, and it looks like we automatically get Nightwing. So you know what I'm going to be doing is adding that bitch to my favorites and upgrading the shit out of this motherfucker already. Nightwing is definitely one of my favorites. Favorite, favorite DC characters. My wife will tell you I definitely will geek over anything that has Nightwing in it. Alright, that takes care of that. I just, and now I have Vega. Well, 
Flash. Okay, the Flash is going to be one of the cars we unlock. That's cool. That looks like it's the level 50 unlock. Supergirl. Shazam. Cyborg. Aquaman. <laughs> so that's what's up right there, for sure. There's the Vega car. Like I said, I definitely want to race with that too. I'm going to add that into my favorites. And when we get around the racing with it, then I will also upgrade it. Sort this real quick. I'm curious. Okay, so it's going to give me the race boxes. That is cool. And then, of course, the newer cards. All right, that's cool. You can narrow it down like that. So that's what I got in the collection as of now. Let's take a quick peek in the shop. Limited offers. I think I'm waiting on the turtle van to drop in here eventually. Check back in about half hour. So let us go on over to the actual race pass itself and get a little extended overview of what all's in it. Alright, cool. So, starting off right at level 1, we got, of course, Gears, and uh, as you saw, we got the Nightwing car right off the bat, which was really, really fucking awesome, in my opinion. <laughs> also, it looks like we also got a Aquaman decal. I was a decal, really, but... Um, for your uh, profile up there. Nightwing car, uh, got some... Um, I always want to call it Guild, because I'm a big-ass Final Fantasy uh, fan, player, whatever. We got some Hot Wheels coins, and now we're getting in the past. Like I said, we got uh, some gears right at level 1. <laughs> we got some wallpaper for the basement. That is pretty sick. I will definitely be throwing some of that up in my basement, along with the Batman stuff. I think that'll make the basement look really fucking sick. More coins, gears, decoration. It looks like we got uh, Aquaman's trident there. More coins, more gears, another decoration. Some katanas there. Or is it the sticks? Uh, it looks like the sticks for Nightwing. Alright. Wife says, let me know that we're setting up my daughter's phone. Bear with me for a second, guys. Okay, where were we? Okay, it looks like we got uh, Night Wings. Um, I can't think of the name of them right off the top of my head. Ass kicking sticks, whatever. 
more coins, more gears, and we have a poster. It looks like the uh, a comic book cover for Aquaman, and not issue number twelve. More coins, gears, more decorations. That doesn't look too bad. Looks kind of like some metal. No. Coins, gears. Aquaman's trying. Looks like a door decoration. Coins and gears. A tag. Okay. Scarlet speeds their tag. Sweet, sweet. I got you. Coins and gears. The Aquaman car is coming in at about level 16. Coins and gears. Oops. King of Atlantis title. Coins and gears. Shazam cars coming in about level 20. You get the picture. We're going to skip the coins and gears shit. We get a set of posters here. It looks like it's ranging from Supergirl, Nightwings, and more another Supergirl. And it appears that first one is also a Nightwing. And at uh, level 24, almost the halfway point, we're getting uh, Cyborg. Profile icon, DC superheroes number two, flash icon. <clears throat> Another set of wallpapers there, it looks like uh, the flash. I might not use that one, I'm, I'm more Bat Family, say Knights of Gotham, I guess. Excuse me guys, I'm getting a little, it sounds like I'm getting a little congested here. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty sweet. Background? Yeah, I, I kind of like that. Okay, card background too. Matching that one, that is neat. Oh, wow, that, that, yep, that's definitely going up on something. Fucking A, man, I like this set. Okay, DC Comics Shazam. Uh, yeah, Comics 20 cents. Imagine that. And like, yeah, it really did happen, but I'm saying imagine if it, we could still do that. I know some places still pardon like that, but then you're not really going to get one of the older comics, though. You're going to get whatever is probably modern. <laughs> I can't even see what number issue comic that would even be. That's neat. That's neat. Again, uh, I want to tell you guys something. Um, Shazam was originally at one point in time called Captain Marvel in DC Comics. And then uh, a lot of other interesting stuff happened between Marvel and DC Comics. And uh, now everything's all switched around. But I believe, and if I can find it, I will definitely show this. I still have a copy of um, DC versus Mortal Kombat, where his name is still Captain Marvel inside the game. Not arguing no points or anything like that. I'm just a little interesting piece of information for anybody that might not have known about that. Okay, so coming in around level 36, we'll be getting the Supergirl vehicle. That's sweet, sweet. Uh, background, DC Superheroes 2. Looks like a Flash-related background there. Around the 37th level area. And uh, the background for your profile thing to go along with it there. Oh, that's pretty neat. I might have to actually put that in the uh, basement area. But uh, decoration, the flashes. Uh, I guess you would call it a cow. It's a mask. That's interesting looking. Couch cushion. Another uh, floor panel. A lot of coins and gears right there. 
Oh yeah, some more wall decoration, man. Definitely gonna be putting those uh, Nightwing ones up alongside my Batman ones for sure. We're getting near the end. I see why they're doing that. Number 50, we get the Flash, and then beyond the Flash's car, we get some more coins and gears. So that's pretty cool right there, man. I, I, I'm very, very, very satisfied with this particular racing pass. And I'm ready to start jumping in. What do you guys say? You ready to jump into some of this stuff? All right, let's go back out to our main menu here, our home screen. What we'll do is we'll jump into quick mode and then uh, quick race. We will race to complete. And you need to do that once for 70 XP. Complete three skate park races for 135 XP. And finish first and three races. The pretty straightforward daily challenges for this. We will do a little bit of these each day as well. Uh, and then also afterwards, if we still have time, we're going to just grind out some of these races. And I'll show you a quick way to, well, I say quick way, but it's it's still going to take time to get everything you need. But uh, something that's a little bit more straightforward and less time consuming way of getting our XP. But first, let's go ahead and start with these daily challenges. I'll scroll on over to... Uh, oh man, looks fun. Seriously. And they said we need to do skate park. Let's we'll start at the beginning uh, with the Speed Vault one. Now I have not played this in maybe a month or two. Bear with me! And just like that, we get in the first, and just like that, we lose first. Back in first.
checkpoint. Oh! That slowed me down a little bit. And first place. Alright, so we got 50 coins for that one. Our total drift distance was 1,349. Total boost time was about 15 seconds. Best lap was 48 seconds, man. That's pretty good, man. It was 49. Alright, check that out, guys. LEGO Star Wars is completely fully installed, so we're going to see where we're at after we finish off these daily challenges and I have myself a little bit of breakfast. That's really cool. Everything's coming together right now. Got uh, 80 experience points off of that. Completed the first portion there. All we need is two more skate park races and finish first two more times. Like I said, this uh, ought to be in the bag. Give me one second, guys. I gotta use the restroom. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back. Let's continue on with what we're doing here. Gonna draw right back into quick modes. Quick race. Keeping on rocking with my Nightwing car. We're just gonna hop up to the next one. Freestyle Paradise, another short track. Let's go. Didn't do too bad for not being here. Had haven't played for a while. Alright, sorry about that, guys. Yeah, that badass looking, man. Ooh. Thought that was a car. Fuck, 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 fuck. <sighs> Not cool, bro. fucking wall.
Trying to fight for that spot, y'all. That was probably the smoothest time I actually took that particular turn, man. <laughs> Do that time total distance, uh, total drift distance 1508 inches. That's cool, that's cool. Total boost time 14 seconds, one second less than last time. With those turns, man, I wasn't really trying to do too many boosts. The best lap was a minute, and two seconds. So all we need to do is complete one more skate park race and finish first one more time and we will be finished with our Hot Wheels video for today. Alright, let's just keep on rolling guys. Damn right I'm using that Nightwing car again. Alright. See, do we have one that? Yeah, we'll do half pipe madness for our final trap. Assuming. perfect that time. That's okay, guys. Yeah, a little tiny boost and no one would ever know the difference. That's what she said. To a good start there, Bally. Oh! Right into the spider web. Somebody give me a boost. Oh, not that direction. Oh. Halfway done, halfway done with the track, alright. Try to maintain our positioning here. Boom! 
That is not what we wanted, not at all. No more sneaky uncles. Fuck up, don't fuck up, go. Come on, Dick. You can do it, Dick. See what we did. <coughs> Drift distance 831 inches. Boost time 29 seconds. Yeah, we were really uh, grinding on that boost this time. Definitely. Our best lap 3 minutes 17 seconds. Got about 50 gold coins for that. Bringing us into uh, level 1. Level 2. Oh, we're right up into level three. Fucking clear into level four. Right on into level five. Smacked in right into level six. Yeah, just a little hiccup past level six. So that got us a good little bit of loot, man. We're going to go ahead and check that out in our next video when we come back to this. Before we go, we'll go ahead and hop on over. See if they added anything of interest over into the shop. May not have been quite a half hour yet, though. No, we got about three more minutes. So you know what? Let's go ahead and take a look at some of that stuff we just got. So first off, my collection said there's a new car. I'm not quite sure why there would be a new car already. That maybe I don't know, I don't know guys.
I think that's just a glitch. Yes, definitely loving this Nightwing car. Definitely. Alright, take a look at some of the shit in the basement. That is nice. That's pretty fucking cool. This is gonna come out fucking sick when we're done, you know. For sure. Oh, something in here. I think we'll do that one for now.
Well, three, I think we're gonna. <laughs> I think we're keeping that there. That does look neat. I think we're gonna go with that when we unlock it. I gotta get to level 32 for that motherfucker though. Alright, maybe we can change this to something a little different here. I'm not so sure we're changing anything with the couch. Yeah, that looks kind of sick. I don't mean like nice, cool, and sick. Just throw up, people sick. Check us out for this stuff.
Damn, I got a lot of them bitches. Not changing that one, not at all. Let's just go take a quick look at the hobby space. And yeah, we'll exit the basement. Take one more quick look at the shop. So at this point, guys, I'm going to go after some breakfast, but we will come back with our official launch of Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. I've been looking forward to that. So for those of you watching on Twitch right now, make sure you hit that follow and share button. It helps out more than you realize. Then hop on over to our main page on YouTube where you can find all of our videos that have been edited. Give us our thumbs up, hit that like and subscribe button, flick our ding dong so you don't miss out on future kick ass content from me and the Gamers Purgatory crew. And I will be back very shortly. Peace. Oh shit, what up? <laughs>